Well, hello there, everybody. It's Ryan Cullen, director here at the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts. And I am here today with Miss Mary Schaefo, uh, dance department chair at the Academy. And welcome, Mary. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're here to talk today a little bit about um, all things dance. So first of all, what should new parents who might be looking for dance lessons know about getting started? Maybe they've never done this before, you know? What do they need to look for in a studio and what ages are appropriate to get started? And um, so tell us a little bit about that. So for parents and students who have never experienced dance before, never tried dance, um, the best things that you should look for is all around program. Um, are the classes centered around unity and is there a good atmosphere, good camaraderie? Are they going to get a good all around program such as um, dance history like we do here, uh, different dance styles? Will they have flexibility with days of the weeks? Um, and then also, if you are looking to sign your daughter up or son for dance, don't buy anything until you check with the studio because every dance studio has different policies regarding leotard colors, what types of shoes, etc. So save yourself a lot of time and money by checking with that studio first. Okay, very good information. And um, I, I would also probably add um, having room to move up, right? You know, into um, the more advanced classes as you go because it's, it's so much easier to continue where you are, you know, versus going to a bunch of different places as Absolutely. you advance, right? Yeah. So your daughter or son will not be stuck in the same level for four or five years. They'll be moving up, getting more focused training. So we have all the way from pre-ballet to different levels of ballet one to ballet two, ballet three, and the same goes with our hip hop, contemporary. So the classes will remain small and intimate and they won't be stuck in the same class doing the same things year after year. Okay, great. So tell us a little bit about um, ages that students can get started in our dance programs because we realize that beginners might not always be five or six. Maybe they're a little bit younger than that, you know, or maybe they're a little bit older than that, right? Yes. Um, so we have several different options for that and um, tell us about those. Absolutely. So we do start as young as 18 months here. That is our parent and talk class. And it's really just to help them learn how to be in a classroom setting, learn how to be around other students, teaching them how to wait in line, and then some basic ballet movements as long as rhythm exercises, and just teach me, teaching them how to be around an instructor. And of course, the parents participate as well and dance with them and, and help them learn that, because um, it's hard to listen to an instructor when you're only 18 months old, when you're not really sure what their role is. So we have mom and dad there helping us saying, listen to your teacher, you know, this is an important person. You want to follow her lead. So that's always a fun class. But we also have pre-ballet, where a lot of students will come into that level um, who have never danced before. And like you said, that starts as young as four years old and goes up into are six years old. Now we always start, our youngest class is our ballet, because ballet is the root of all dance forms. So we want everyone to have that solid ballet training. And then once they turn six years old, the doors open up to them and they can try tap, hip hop, and ballet. But if your child is older, say 11 years old, and they've never danced before, that is okay as well. I actually started late as a dancer. I didn't start until I was about eight or nine years old and then took a break for a little while and came back when I was 11. And it, it took me a little while to catch up, but instructors are always understanding and a lot of our classes have repetition in them and your child will catch up in no time. Right, and I don't know if this is true, um, it is in music, but when you have someone who starts later, but don't you kind of progress a little faster sometimes, you know, than you, you would do. as a, a younger child? And it's right? very exciting starting as a beginner because, especially when you're older, your improvement that you see is so huge. You're learning all of these things. So just in one year's time, you can have leaps and bounds of improvement as opposed to an advanced student where 
once you get to that advanced level, the improvement is, is smaller and more minute. So being a beginner dancer is very exciting and, and you accelerate quickly. Oh, great, perfect. So we've talked quite a bit about younger students and being beginners. Um, what do we offer here at the Academy for adults? I'm glad you asked, Ryan. We have lots of fun adult workshop classes. Um, currently, we are doing a six-week session for hip hop, and all of our adult classes are open from beginners all the way to advanced. It's just a fun social environment for adults 18 and over to come and get all the stress out from a hard day's work, get into shape while also learning some fun dance moves. So like I said, we are currently in our hip hop session, and then once that's done, we'll have other six week sessions like ballet, tap, ballroom, and it's, it's fun. And at the end of our adult workshops, um, we do a little showing completely informal in our classroom where they can show their friends and family um, what they've learned over the course of the six week program. And it's been really successful and we've had more and more people signing up. In fact, did you know that our program overall has doubled in size over the past year? Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. So why do you think that is? What's different about LAPA you know, versus maybe some other studios in the area that um, you know, contributes to that growth? I think it's just a general love of the art form. It's having qualified instructors who have upper level education in dance as well as professional experience who are teaching strong fundamentals of dancing. And then on the flip side of that, we open our doors to anybody and everyone who wants to dance, no matter what their backgrounds are. And it's just a really great, fun, extracurricular activity that helps build the all-around student, not just the dancer, but someone who is polite, hardworking, organized, and I think parents see that, I think students see that, and they want to be a part of it. You kind of exude, you know, every quality you're mentioning there, so yeah. I think everyone sees that in you, and um, that's well, great. Thank you. Yeah, it brings <laughs> it to all our students and other teachers, so yeah, fabulous. Great. Thanks so much for being here today and um, talking with us. And uh, Miss Mary has also shared several Lanyap lessons with us, too, that we'll be releasing. So hope you enjoy those. So thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.